Good afternoon! Good afternoon! I know this is a few hours later than what I thought I'd be back um, from this morning, but you know, life happens and uh, things have gone on today, so <laughs> it took me a little longer to get back. That's alright. No time scheduled for me today. Hi! Thanks for coming by. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs, and today I'm going to do a um, some graphic work. I am working on this. All right, let me exit out of this program. All right, there we go. So I think I'm going to start working on. Um, the uh, dank dragonfly. If you can see, I'm going to zoom in so you can see some of the texture I've added to my hibiscus. I don't know if you could see. I've been using some impasto brushes to add some texture in here. I still have a couple I need to do, so let me go back and get that. So this is a really neat little texture brush. I'll draw it like this and I'll make a line. And then it's going to um, give me some texture. Wrong color though. I need to get the right color. I want to use lighter colors. Um, feel free to ask any questions or um, if it, so I can know what you want to talk about. Or we could just talk about the weather or what you're doing today. So I'm just doing some thick and small lines here, adding some texture lines. And you can see it, this impasto brush will raise it up a little bit and give me. A little bit of texture, some interest. So this is a little more casual than some of the stuff I usually do. So I'm just doing some veining here. And help with the flow of the direction of my petals. Okay. And I'm not really like paying too much attention or um, to how small or thick they are. Hi Paula, thanks for coming. I'm just using them more as a directional tool to help visually separate the petals a little bit. It's nature. So nature is random, so you try to be random. <laughs> All right. So it adds a little more interest, and in, this is probably the more digital type of work I do, as I will probably leave the black lines in this. You can see without the black it doesn't pop as quite as much, but it's not bad. <laughs> but I need the lines for the um, dragonfly because the dragonfly is all lines and texture. So let's see. It's kind of what I want. To, well, since I have the colors, let's throw in some colors. So I'm just going to pick some random colors and throw them in here on my flowers and then we'll smear them all up and this is more like relaxing and fun for me than anything else I just want a little peek of a different colors through there There's a lot of the work I do is very um, detail oriented. With this, I can be a little more um, free <laughs> and not worry about it so much. So I can kind of just like throw some stuff down, talk to you guys. I hope everybody's having an awesome day today. 
I'm getting back into my art groove today. So I'm loving it. Alright. So I'm basically, I'm just kind of coming over here, taking my dropper and stealing some of these colors, just so they're the same. I'm throwing them in here really quick. I'm going to take a big blender and just kind of smear them together for a little bit. Just lightly because I have another blend to do too. It's a little bit of a process. Nope, I don't want to destroy. I hit a button on my pen. Didn't mean to. <laughs> so right now this blender is just like adding touches of water to the paint that I kind of threw down there. I'm waiting for paper. I had to order some paper, JP. I, I have to wait till I get my paper delivery, hopefully this week. And I can print it out. Um, I didn't send it to you. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to show you until... I, I kind of want you to open it and see it done. I don't I don't know if I want to show it to you totally finished. <laughs> oh, thank you, Swift. Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh. Do you really want to see it? I'll show you if you really want to see it. <laughs> Customer, the customer is always right, so if you really want to see it, I can probably be convinced to show it to you. But... Oh yeah, yeah, you could start working on mine. You don't need to get it done today, but if I saw some progress, I would, you know, or something, that might be helpful. How about, how about if... If I show you the finished one today before I mail it, then you have to figure out what you're going to make me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you want to see it, or do you want it to be a surprise when you open it? That's why usually why I wait to send the email. Okay. That's why usually I don't send the email until after the product arrives, because I like people to see it open. You want to see it? All right. Let me save this so it doesn't mess up. I will show you because I'm nice like that. <laughs> I hope you do. That brindle pattern on that Mia was a little tricky. Come on, save. It takes so long to save the my brush is working. Okay. Uh, finished. There they are. There it is. That's it done. I'm going to let my dogs in. Hang on, don't say anything yet. Come on, come on, come on in. I'm getting my dogs a treat. There you go, guys. Alright. So I hope you like it. Does it look like them? 
Okay. I will. But if I send it to, if you put it on, just link me up, man. Just link me up and give me some props. Okay, great. <laughs> link me up. Give me some props so some people come visit me a little bit. That's all. <laughs> And then when I get, I had to order paper because I have some cardstock. I didn't like how it came out on the cardstock. Yeah, thank you. I know you will. I didn't like how, it, um, I didn't print this on the cardstock, but I had some other stuff printed. I didn't like it, how it came out on my cardstock I got. It was a little too flat. So I went ahead and I ordered some, um, uh, matte photo paper. So I'm, I got, actually I got a sample pack because I'm still looking for, um, <laughs> that's the look on the face of the picture you gave me. She kind of looked like that. She was like looking at like, huh? that's what she looked like. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I'm still looking for, um, my paper. So I ordered another sample. No. <laughs> I ordered another sample pack to find the paper that I really am in love with before I order a bunch. So um, I'm trying to find good paper that doesn't cost me a fortune. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so um, I was using Hannibal. Hannibal. Eight, eight and a half by 11, that's as big as I can go right now unless I try to talk to my neighbors, which is one of the reasons why I send you the JPEG file. So if you want to take the file and have it printed on a canvas or printed at a larger size, you're more than welcome to do so. Or put it on a coffee mug or a shirt or whatever. Yeah, just a regular um, sheet of paper, you know. I think it's like eight and a half by 11, something like that, yeah. But that's why I give you the JPEG at this point in time, because I can't offer anything. Yeah, you can, um, they look really good if you get it. Here, let me show you my wall really quick. So, these are the same size as I print out. Oh, oh. But if you get them matted and framed, they look pretty good. You know, like, you know, they're a decent size when you get it matted and framed. That's a 16 by 20 pencil, but... Um, those are Karens right there. I have Karens up there. And yours will be up here somewhere too when I get it. Alright. But, yeah. So, basically, um, you're still waiting for Karens? She might be waiting for yours. I don't know. You'll have to talk to her. <laughs> um, I sent her something before she sent me. Thank you. Those are JPs. He's in here. They like your puppies. But, um, yeah, so that's why I give you the, the JPEG file. I don't know. Whatever you feel like doing. I kind of want it to be an expression of you. So, you know, like you said, oh, I want to do that. You know, just whatever, whatever you kind of, whatever floats your boat. I love all your stuff, so it doesn't matter. Whichever you want to do. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to pick because I like them all. How about two smaller, can you do two smaller ones? <laughs> Look at me, I'm getting greedy now. <laughs> I want one of each. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, the foam would be great. That is more neat. Yeah, that is true. I love the foam stuff. All right, awesome. Awesome. But... Yeah, so that's your puppies. When I get my right paper, I will print it out and send it to you. I just ordered it this weekend, so. If I do the girlfriend's cats, 
We can negotiate. Okay, send me a photo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I've done, this is the second one I've sent your way for people you knew, so, you know, come on. <laughs> That'd be fine. I do cats. Look at it. See, there's some cats. I do cats. <laughs> There's a cat. I do cats, too. All right. Actually, after I get the color and stuff done, I'm just finishing up some stuff I've had sitting around here forever. It's like, oh, get off of my inbox so I can move on to something else already. So I'm just going to jack up the colors and make it very vibrant and have some fun. I finished a dancer today, which was little details. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't, like you said, they do not need to be together um, in one picture for me to put them in one picture. I just need, actually, if I, I a good picture of their face so I could get their personality. Yeah, a good picture of their face so I could get a little bit of their personality and, like, really see the eyes. And um, then some decent body position. And, I, you know, give me whatever. If she want six pictures, seven, whatever it takes to get, like, I like this, like that. And I'll, I Frankenstein them together. Yes, even if they're grumpy. If that's their personality, then that's what they are, right? You know, grumpy cat's grumpy. If you didn't draw grumpy cat grumpy, it wouldn't be grumpy cat. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? If they're like, what the heck you taking my picture for? <laughs> that's what they are. Then that's just what they are. <laughs> All right, I'm just like, this is kind of random. I'm just like, I love this because I can just kind of blend a bunch of colors together in here. And then I'll make them pop with my magic specialty brushes. La 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 la. So I'm just finishing this up to be pretty and fun. And then, then I have, I have an, uh, did you see the one I started? I started a, uh, this Malmute right here. I have this guy started. Not very far. But that's up next too. So, yeah, just send me a bunch of pictures. I'll pick which I'll pick which ones I use and which ones I don't. Yeah, just tell her take about take a bunch of pictures, send them to her. I'll weed them out. I want a little bit of aqua, even though it's not in here. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, play around with them and figure it out for you. I'm gonna add some of this, like, marine. I have two Shih Tzus. Yeah. That'd be cute. I'm gonna do my dogs after I did yours. Or a dog, let's a Shih Tzu dog. That'd be cute. I just want to touch this purple. Oh, yeah. No, you don't have to do two. Like, I'm just saying, I don't want you to do my dogs, per se. You could do one Shih Tzu dog. You know, just like I love, just, you know, like I would buy a Shih Tzu thing. That's perfect. That's fine. Puppy cut. 
Not the real long hair. Google image. <laughs> not super short hair, but not real long hair. <laughs> kind of fluffy. You could just do their face, so it could be any size, you know, if you want. Just do a Shih Tzu face. Alright. Um, yeah, I did. I think, was it like a bulldog or something? I think I saw that one. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. That was cute. What are you making for street art? Street art. I saw you do trade with him too, right? Love the ink paintings he did for you of your you and your son, right? You bought those? Ew! I thought you were gonna trade them. Well, he missed out. He should have got some of your art too. Those ink drawings are crazy, though. should have. It's just good mojo. Fellow artist. That's alright. The picture of your son with the drawing was super cute too, by the way. I want to add a little more. Aww. He's really cute. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Yeah. Art, just for anybody else who's listening, nobody's here right now, but they will on the replays. Art is a lovely present for people when you don't know what to get them. <laughs> you can you can message me or any one of my lovely artist friends for something special and unique. There's my art plug. <laughs> I'm going to jack these up a little bit, even though they're very light in the um, f real life. I kind of want them to be a little more bright. Let me add some yellow, too. Just a dash. Oh, yeah? That'd be cool. I don't know how to do any of that. I need, like, marketing gurus. Because I know how to get on here and I'll kind of like share my stuff and talk about it. But I'm not good at, I'm, I'm not a, you know. But I, I would, I, <laughs> I need somebody who takes care of orders and stuff. I'll be like, okay, just let me paint. I just want to paint. Alright. I don't want the pink. Let me get some more purple in there. And then I have my husband, he's like, well, if you make more money doing it, I'll quit my job and I'll be doing it for him. I said, but in order to make money, I need somebody who could do that. Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Did you message me today? Hi, how are you? Oh, no, here? I'm Periscope? I can see you, so I don't, I don't know what you're... I'm trying to make this a little more brilliant. I, did, I thought they were a little too, um... 
little little too uh, laid back colors. I need them a little more poppy. Even though in nature they're pretty quiet, I want it a little more. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I said that would be cool. I wish I knew how to do stuff like that. I just learned how to do Twitter a couple months ago, so, you know. <laughs> I'm old. I'm old. Oh, okay. Yeah, it came through. I saw it. I hate when Periscope does that. And my can't my, my tablet sometimes gets really hot when I do Periscope. And then sometimes if it gets too hot, it'll just be like... Alright, yeah, let me know what to do. Let me know what you need. What's going on? Give me the details. When you're ready for it. For sure, I'll check it out. Alright. So, I want... Two. I think I want to bring some of this up a little bit. So this right here, this little tool is called a um, loft, a depth lofter. And you can see it up there, depth lofter. And what it's going to do is bring some of this stuff up and make it bumpy. Just raise it up. I can raise it up a lot, but I'm just, I just want to raise it up a little bit. Okay, you send me the info. I'll see what's 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 going on and um, where I'm at when you get it. You know. Okay. It's kind of like a society six six or something. I had which I really haven't had time to look into all that stuff and how it works. So. Okay. I see. Not like on things. I get it. Okay. Have you ever heard of Vita? I don't know if you guys can see how I'm making little bumps here. I keep getting emails from some... Okay. I keep getting emails from some Erica chick from Vita... Oh, I love your artwork. We'd love to work with you. Blah, blah, blah. And then I and I think it's just, you know, like anybody could do it, I think. Okay, that's cool. I think anybody can do this Vita thing. And basically, I think they, like, take, they want you to put designs on, like, scarves and shirts or something. Vita, not Vidal, Vita, V-I-D-A. Like, you send me these emails, and I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, but then, because it looks like, basically, you have to promote yourself, and if people buy your stuff, then you get money. But you're, like, the one who's responsible for sending stuff to this website. And I'm just like, I don't know. So basically, I'm doing the work for you, which is, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, I'm going to have to look at that. I think I mess, missed a comment, but okay. I have to read my scopes later when I take my next break and when I'm done with this. my I had a lunch break, and now it'll be my I'm going to make dinner break. I want to see how these colors are reading for me. Alright, they're getting a little poppy. They're alright. I'm going to add some fun texture. I think I want... Okay, that's cool. I'm going to green emboss these now, which will give him a little bit of a stained glassy look. You can see this over here. It's putting a green texture. And when you do that, it kind of makes it look um, a little transparent, like lights coming through. 
which for a dragonfly wing is kind of the effect I'm looking for. And I built the slight raised bumps to give it a little bit of flow. But so I'm just going to kind of texturize this now. And it kind of makes the colors go boop. Okay. Now I'll check it out and see what's up. Send me a message so I know. And then depending on pricing and stuff, I'll have to see what I have available. Because I need to make more money. But I'm still just a babysitter, so. I'm sponsored by my husband. <laughs> He's my patron. Okay, I don't want this black to have. I got sloppy talking to you. Oh, see, I don't like that. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Too much on the black there. Didn't like it. Yeah, there's there's a reason that came up, right? I, there's a reason that that is a saying. I find it all over the place. I mean, like, people are like... Okay, like that portrait? Okay, that's good. But like that detailed portrait I just did of JP's dogs, you know? I'm charging like 60 bucks for that. Well, 80 because it'd be two dogs. I I'm going, okay, I probably spent 20 to 30 some hours on it. You know, what do you want me to work for? $2 an hour? When people sit there and they're like, oh, that's so much. I'm like, well, then... You draw it. <laughs> right? You draw it. <laughs> I'm saying. It just gets me. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm building up, like, my, um, the, the AKC breeds. So, say, you know, you might have an, an, you might have an Alaskan Malmute. And you can buy a generic picture of one of my Alaska Malmutes if you like it. It might not be yours, but it is, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, that's true. Good idea. Look at you. Good ideas. I'm still waiting for Tammy to do whatever she said she was going to do. Alright. I think I might need this to be a little more... I don't like how transparent he is. Okay, let me go on a separate layer. Hi, thanks for coming. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't even think I'm on that site anymore. I got a little, um... That is true. And it hasn't really... Nothing's really happened for, like, six months. And then she's off doing her creative inspiration thing or something with Leona, which is cool, too. Okay, and as my crazy life starts to start up because everybody's coming here now. Alright, so. Those are my kids. 
coming home from work and doing great. <laughs> Talking about their weekend. Alright, so I want to make this pop up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have to erase that embossing fluid. Okay. Oh boy. Can you guys like not have a full blown conversation? I have two. <laughs> okay. It is not a world record. I get a couple hundred sometimes. See how they make fun of me? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm feeling the love here, you guys. I'm gonna get a hundred likes on my Instagram photos, let alone people watching me live. Who's gonna like your photos? That's a good one. You don't have Instagram. That's all I do. I do have an Instagram. What? Oh. I'm telling you, right? I just get back, Mom. Trying to take me out to your room, all right? Pretty disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> you have to a week and you're taking me out. Oh. Uh, you know how it is. I feel the love. Right here, this is um, this is a digital um oil, but I'm using impasto brushes, so it's giving it some texture. Yeah. Real friends. How many of us? How many of them? Real friends. <sighs> My kids can be such brats, I'm swear to God. Ah, it's an idiot. Nobody understands. They don't understand. No art love in my family. Okay. All right. Yeah, let me know. I get no art love. Yeah, they're my brats. Yeah. I get no art love from my family. Unless I'm making uh, one of their little crazy characters. Okay. All right. Uh oh. This is white. Okay, that's, that's a good idea, too. Yeah, this is my wall to inspire me. That's what it is. Alright, see? You're so full of ideas. I just noticed his leg's broken. I didn't put the thing in there. Oh, well. This isn't for anybody, so this is just for me to have fun. Maybe I'll print it out in a postcard size and fit it in a spot somewhere. <laughs> Blend these a little bit. Get a little buggy eye. I need to erase the black. Oh. 
Follow me. So what else is anybody up to today? I'm getting harassed by my family members. Okay. Alright. If I forget, because people just send me a message saying send me a message, send me the picture. Thank you. Later, Gators. I like the music too, Key Lime. It's um it's called uh Classic Go Pop on Pandora. It's a channel. Classic Go Pop. And so I like it. Cause it's modern music, but I don't have to worry about the um the words getting like all mixed up with when I'm talking. Yeah. You know, it's like fun music, but it's pretty and relaxing, and the, with the, without having words, it makes it easier, I find. At least for me, too, like when I'm watching other people's scopes. I like the music for when somebody might not constantly be chattering, but I don't like the distraction of the words. Plus, without the words, I tend not to want to sing as much, and that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna finish up these branches. Now, see, my husband and most of my kids can sing and play guitar and all that, and I don't do any of that. But I don't go. I tell him, "Oh, you're so good." My husband really is good, and he won't let me put him on Periscope. He's a brat, but you know. And what do I get? Yeah, I get curve. <laughs> I get, what are you doing? It's because I'm not drawing all the um, superheroes. Like, yeah. I'm waiting for my oils to catch up. Well, my kids want me to draw like video game people and stuff like that. I mean, I can, it's just not really my thing. Hi! I'm starting to get some shadowing for my greenery here. Went out of the line. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it later. Oh, probably. They're, they don't really mean it. Because they always show it off. They just like, they just like, um, harassing me. I'm their mom. <laughs> just like, I'm on Periscope, so not one of them want to be on Periscope. Because, oh my god, if your mom does it, it can't be cool. <laughs> I don't do it until everybody's on Periscope and then they'll be like, oh yeah, well I guess I'm going to go on there. <laughs> How old? Mine are old. I mean, my, my son, I uh, have, um... I don't know what they are. My oldest is 25, and then I have a 22-year-old. Yeah, my oldest is 25, and then I have a 22-year-old and a 21-year-old. And they all live here with me still. Um, one is going to college. My youngest is still in college. Uh, my other, my one son works two jobs, and my other son has his full-time job. But his girlfriend lives in England, so he lives at home because he spends a lot of his money either traveling there or sending plane tickets there. <laughs> so. I think they're at the point where they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with that situation. I do like having them home because um, I do too. I I'm just used to it. Like, my whole house, even when I was a kid growing up, my house was always, like, the house. And so I'm used to having noise and no food and 
you know. And they all go to work and do their thing, so I have enough time where I'm here by myself. <laughs> but I spend about 85% of my time in my little bedroom uh, office area here. Because it's at the other side of the house. And I don't hear any of their crap. Which is perfect. So they could all be doing whatever they do over there. And I have like my own little apartment on this side of the house. So I just kind of hang out over here. Draw and do my thing. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, well, we took our, our family room. When my, when my oldest son, so we actually, most kids move out. We moved out on my son. He's, we moved here out of, to a different state for my husband's job. And so my oldest son was in college when we had to move. And so he stayed. Yeah, he stayed in our house, our other house, and finished school. But he really liked where he moved. So then he moved here when he graduated. And I wanted them each to have their, their own space, one, so my kids wouldn't kill each other and drive me nuts. So, so I gave, I uh, converted my family room side of my house, um, family and the, like the um, powder room and all that. We converted that into a master bedroom suite. So in between our bedroom and their bedrooms is a living room, a dining room, and a kitchen. So we're on our side of the house. They have their side of the house. They treat their rooms like an apartment. Yeah. And because, I mean, they're either in the, you know, I don't have a fancy smancy. We don't sit on the furniture living room anyway. The family room was kind of like a glorified video game room, really. You know? So, I just, they each have TVs and computers and they can use the living room because I'm not usually in the living room. Yeah, I'm not usually in the living room. And, uh... So, we put... We changed our family room into a bedroom. A big master bedroom suite. And it's perfect. Because they can play their music, play their video games, yell at it, whatever. And I don't hear any of it. And I can bliss of blissfully be in here watching my TV shows or listening to my music and be totally happy <laughs> without getting my anxiety all worked up over how stupid they're doing or yelling at each other. You know. I have three boys, so... Alright, I want to get this Distorto blender, blend this a little bit. So the Distorto blender is just kind of like, it, it will just kind of um, almost tie-dye the colors together. You may as well have three boys. Oh, yeah. My um, my son's girlfriend from England, she just went home on Saturday. She was here for the last week. And I do like having a girl around, you know. Plus, she tells my son off and he listens to her. <laughs> now, he listens to her more than he listens to me. So that was fun. And then he's going back over to England in October. And then I think she's coming back again. Yeah, I think she's coming back again in March to go to Disney World with us. So, you know. 
They go back and forth about every three to six months or so. Somebody comes over or whatever. <sighs> yeah. And she just turned 21, so she's still a little young to make the big decision on um, coming to America. But there's talk of it. So who knows? You never know. Okay, I want to get Bloopy. So I'm going to put some veining into Actually, I want it a little darker. I'm going to put some veining into the stems here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Can you see the lines I'm creating? It's digital texture. <laughs> so it'll create these little lines. I know, I make up my own. I just make up my own language. I warn everybody who comes here. If you come here, I will make up my own words. Feel free to use them because now they are uh, public. All right, I realized I was on the wrong layer, so there we go. <laughs> it's just who I am. Gotta be real. Thanks. This is just my, this is like my art therapy. This is my little, like my coloring book. I'm just having some fun with it. Because it's not for anybody. I do do these for people, but this particular one was just because I had some stuff and I wanted to do it. Just kind of playing around with these brushes and seeing what they do. Okay, that's interesting. Fill it in a little bit. Now this one, I want to kind of go around the edge here. And edge there. I talk to myself, just ignore me. I'm still learning what this program can do. Like I said, I've only been doing this since January. And so, I don't like those. Those are too dark. And so, um, I'm like on page 380 of like a 700 page manual. I haven't looked into it too much lately. Which I probably should. I probably should. Oh, for the software? Uh, Corel Painter, I know the new one, Corel Painter 2017, I think is like $430. I can upgrade for about 100 so I am still kind of debating, but I'm, don't, I'm not sure what's all in the upgrade. Yeah, I'm not sure what's all in the upgrade yet, um, other than some new brushes, so I'm still kind of um, a little weary of that one. Looking into it, I guess. I'll put it that way. Alright. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Oh no, you should have done this, Mom. I didn't do that. No. <sighs> See, I get blamed for everything. You know what happens when you assume? Oh my God. Do you know? I know. Okay. Then I taught you well. 
when you assume I, forgot, I almost forgot about this little stem down here. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Right. When you assume All right. One last thing. Yeah, he does know. He's seen it. He knows. I've said, I've, plus, I've probably said it before. <laughs> they just look at me like, oh, you're not cute at all. <laughs> all right, so I'm just adding some directional stuff on here. Yeah, they're like, what are you talking? You're not funny. I guess I I do the same thing to my parents, so. <laughs> or at least my dad. My mom is funny. My dad's just okay, dad. So my kids probably think I'm just like him. Oh yeah, directional stuff. It's real technical. No, it's not. It, especially when you're doing nature. It's not so, like, I don't have to worry about my line directions so much. I'm just painting them on there. I just think it's kind of cool that this program makes it look like, you know, it's raised in brush strokes. And there's a bunch of them. I'm still playing around with them, figuring out what they do. So I was just having some sort of fun. But, I think it's kind of done. So I'm going to, that's what, that's without the sketch, yeah, it's without the sketch. I'm going to sign it on my sketch layer. I'm going to sign it right under there. Oh, way too big, way too big. That was a delay of zooming. Massive zoom. Massive. Alright. Yeah, it's cool without the sketch, too. Mm -hmm. I, I've been doing a lot of stuff without the sketches, so that's the only reason I'm leaving it kind of for definition. Plus, um, I use these sketches not painted in. And I have them saved for maybe um, coloring pages at some point. I have them saved for the future. Gotta think ahead. Right. Yeah, you never know. One of these points I'll do one of those self-published coloring pages or something. Yay! Another one bites dust! Okay, so we are going to save it. Oh, thank you. And save it as finished in a JPEG. Yes. I see so many pretty things, I just want to draw them. I have a whole page of reference things that I want to do. And I just draw them until somebody sends me a message and asks me to do something. And then I... <laughs> and then I have a little lineup list. I have a little lineup list of what I'm working on and what I need to do. So I get to cross this one off. And this one off. Because I did both those today. Well, I'm so glad you came. I'm going to actually probably be back... I'm going to go and um, start boiling my ribs, and after I set up for dinner, I'll probably be back and start working on my um, Alaskan Malmute in about maybe a half hour, 45 minutes. All right. So see, I have my whole schedule. I got to cross those off. I have this one to work on. 
And then now I have to add the sketches I need to do. Yeah, I have to add the sketches to do because I'm on two shows on Saturday. So at 9 o'clock on Saturday, I have this scope show. And then at 10, from 10 to 11, I'm on this scope show. So I need two different projects for these shows. I have to start working on some sketches. and Fun, fun, fun! A fun, a fun, fun. But I love it. Alright. So now I need a watermark for this. In case you ever do digital art or pictures or anything, if you have a program, this is really easy to do. Let me get my text window. I have a text box and I'm going to pop it on there. And I think I want to do it in some form of blue. We'll try it. And I just use this one because it's at the front, to be honest with you. That's why I picked that font. Let's resize it. No, that's too big. That's too big. All right. See, now I'm not liking that color. I think that might be better. Right, I'm going to just make it. Maybe make it a little gray. Good enough. And this one gets saved as a JPEG file with all the watermarks on it. Oh, I missed that because somebody's comment thing came up in front. I'll see it. I'll go back and watch the replay because I have some comments I have to catch up on. Unless you want to ask it again really quick. That's cool. Okay, I'll see it. I'll go back and look at it. And if you follow me... anywhere. I'm on all this social media. I appreciate all the follows, likes, shares, all the comments. Um, especially if you follow me on like um, Facebook or, or Instagram. If I see your question and I missed it originally and I see your question and I know how to get a hold of you, I will get a hold of you and answer it if possible, if need to be. So that's something to think about. So if you don't follow me in all those places, please do. <laughs> I'm still trying to build all these accounts up. And so it's like a full-time job, this social media. Oh. Alright. So here's the original dragonfly. I know it is. And you can see I just bumped up the colors because I wanted it to be fun. So. <laughs> it is. It's like a full-time job and I'm new to it. So I'm still like, I just learned how to do, um, do Twitter like four or five months ago. It's like, Twitter what? Twitter, huh? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Alright, so. It should all be saved in my right files now. Mm, I just like to look because it makes me nervous deleting something without... Okay, there it is. You know what? I have not figured out Snapchat. One, because, um, oh, I forgot to save it here. That's where I forgot to save it. <sighs> See, always doing something. One, because, um, how it disappears in 24 hours, right? So as an artist, why would I not want my work to be seen? I need to resize this. And, um... Now Instagram has the stories, so I've been trying to do the stories, which is kind of the same thing. But yeah, like I appreciate Snapchat, and I know there's a lot of people on it, but I don't, I don't have time to do it like every day to have, you know, like that whole thing done. 
and when it just disappears, I don't, I don't get it. Like, it, I want my art to be out there so people can see it. So, yeah, I just haven't got into it. But then again, I guess if it goes like it's going to go, you know, if it ends up being like Twitter, eventually I'll be like, oh, I really need... Actually, I wasn't even interested in Twitter until Twitter connected to Periscope and showed the um, Periscope feeds, and that's when I wanted to be on Twitter. So, other than that, I could care less about it. See, I just changed the size of this. Yes, Periscope is great. Um, there's another one that my son said I should be on. I can't even remember. I have to talk to him about it. When I have some time, he's going to, like, teach me about that one. And then, um, it, Busker I need to look into, but it wasn't Busker. It was a different one. Busker's new. Um... I need to look in that one, but my only problem with Busker is I'm not a money beggar. Like, I, I don't want people to feel that they have to pay to watch me, or to learn something, or for me to be their friend kind of thing. I don't want to get into that. That's my only my only thing, but I might, I might put Busker in and um, just be an observer for a while and check it out and see what it's like before I get into that. But I think there was, it's like, maybe it's on Steam? Or something like that? That's true. I know. That's why I, I just need, I haven't, I haven't been on it yet. So I need to go on it and check it out and see how I feel about it before I start going on there. And I still have a regular job and a life, so, you know, like I have a checklist of 12 social medias already. I'll have to figure it out. Like, I, I don't even do Facebook Live, because I always forget about it. <laughs> uh, plus, I don't, I don't like, um, yeah, I don't like bugging my regular Facebook friends. Like, you know, all my family and all my high school friends, I don't like bugging them with, like, my Facebook Live drawings videos. And I don't even post my art on that Facebook page. Um, just occasionally I do. Hi, how are you? Oh, you just missed it. I just finished this. Yeah, I just do it occasionally. Because, um, I just, I'll post it on my, my art page. And I figure the people who want to see the art will see it on the art page, you know. Yes, I did. I finished it. Hang on. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Let's see, I just finished this today. I just finished that just now. Where is the ballerina, the ballerina? Oh, tour my art. <laughs> She's in here somewhere. She might be at the beginning. Oh, I think she's the other way. Contact me on the Instagram. -y. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she is. We can work something out. Thank you. Yeah, I just posted her on Instagram and Facebook and all over. DM me, or, um, message me. A close-up of where? Where do you... Mm, let's see. This is it. This is already the JPEG file. I can have to zoom in. Can I move it around now? Oh, oh, oh. So there's her face. Let's see. My hands. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it took a little while. I had the sparkles on the embroidery. And then the tooling. Now, if I ever printed this out, like if um, this was a custom for somebody else, this would get printed out. And then I paint in acrylic paint. I'm probably, I might do it anyway. I might print her out and just do it. I paint and glitter up. And then I'll frame it.
So I would print it out and paint on top of my paint. I don't have one printed. Do I have one? I don't have one available. It's done. And then the last dancer I did is up here framed already. Oh, my pencil dry. That's the other dancer that I did. This is Alicia Ash, but she should, she doesn't have any glitter or anything, so that's just um, a printout. Ooh, and zoom. Mm. I love that one too. She contacted me. I have three emails from Alicia Ash. Aisha Ash. So maybe Alina Samova. <laughs> that's who this is. Maybe she'll see it. Never know. Right? You never know. Now I'm on to the um, Alaskan Malmute. This is a Nikita. An Afghan. That's old. Oh, there it is. I don't know why it's so zoomed in and it won't let me zoom back out. But it's really zoomed in. I could zoom in on this one too for you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, there's her face. It's a beautiful, I, it was a beautiful photo and I had to paint it. I love the colors too. But I loved, uh, what got me was this movement in her dress. I loved the swish, swish, swish of the skirt. I was like, oh, I want to draw that. And so then I painted it. Painted it. Anyway. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you. As I said, I appreciate all the hearts and the shares. Um... If you're not already doing so, follow me on my social media. And you can always contact me, ask any questions, send me any info. Um, I'm a pretty much an open book, and I enjoy helping people out. So it's not all about just contacting me for money or anything, you know. Uh, it, you can ask for help or whatever. All right, thanks. Yeah, I'm going to go, and um, I have to put some... Western ribs and some beard boil so my husband can grill him when he gets home tonight. <laughs> that's my that's my dinner plan. I'm boiling some ribs in some beer and then you get to grill them after you work. Thank you. <laughs> you down for the I don't know. Are you doing what are you talking with JP? Yeah, I don't know. He sent me info, and I'm going to look into it. So, I might contact you or send me a message privately and tell me what you think about it. I wouldn't mind having an outsider opinion. All right. Find me on Facebook or, or on um, Instagram and DM me or send me a message and let me know what, what – tell me what he's talked to you about and what the details are, and then I'm going to hear from him, and I'd like to hear your opinion on it. And I'm new to all this stuff, so, you know, I get a, I, I'm still trying to figure it all out. All right, bye. Okay, bye, Gracie. Thanks. I hope to see you around again soon. If you follow me, I'll follow you because I like to get to know everybody. All right. Okay, that's cool. Then, Teddy, we'll be, we'll be, um, new, new art biz buddies because I don't, I don't, I'm trying to, I'm getting older. Put it this way, I just turned 49. And I said last April, I said, you know what? You're not getting any younger. Go for it. So I'm just kind of going for it. Okay, great. So I'm just kind of going for it, and whatever happens, I guess it's supposed to happen. I'm lucky that I don't have to pay my bills doing this. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, you got to. I didn't do any art for like 20 years, you guys, and it still just kills me that I wasted all that time. I raised my kids, you know, and got busy with life and just didn't, didn't do, didn't do my thing. I was taking care of everybody else, so now it's my time again. Woohoo! Hear me roar. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I started doing my pencil drawings again, and that led to wanting to paint, but not knowing how to do it. And I saw that somebody doing digital art, and all I did was say, that's interesting. And then for Christmas, my lovely husband showed up with uh, Corel Painter and my, my Intuos Pro tablet. And <laughs> off I went. So I've only really been doing the digital stuff since January. I am no pro. And then I just decided to really kind of um, put myself out there to actually sell stuff in April. And I've sold like two things since April. I've been doing some art trades though. So for friends and talented artists. Teddy, do you know Karen Orr? So I have two Karens up there. Those are Karen Orr illustrations. I have a couple of hers. Um, she does, she's a high-end fashion illustrator. She does Periscope. Um, not so much right now because she's really swamped. Like, she gets people six or seven orders a day. Yeah. She sells these for like 150, 200 bucks each. Or something like that. It's crazy. And she gets like five or six a day. She's my, my, uh, hero. <laughs> my idol. And then this is, um, you know, SJ, Sandy, Joshi. Um, yeah, possibly she can, I mean, she doesn't finish that many a day, but she has a four-month waiting list, I think, she said. And she's been working like seven days a week. Uh, yeah, right? Turning people away. Turning people away. And this is SJ. Uh, he did that with me, my husband's name for us. Yeah, right? She keeps telling me, be careful what I wish for. She goes, be careful what you wish for, because it might just happen. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> Please buy my art.com. <laughs> Please buy it. <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> I just try to do my part. I share everybody as much as I can. I'll share it. I take care of my friends. Hopefully they'll take care of me a little bit, you know, and goes around, comes around. Heart it up. All right, guys, seriously, it's 3 o'clock. I want to work on that husky before my husband gets home. So I'm going to go and um, grab a drink, throw my ribs in a pot to boil, and I will be back probably in like less than a half, about a half hour working on that um I'm going to actually bring it up. I'll show you. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I want to post that, though. I can post it later. Oh, see, there. there's 2017. See, I can upgrade for 100 bucks. This bottle's bothering me. Sorry. I'm going to work on this. There he is. Still not much done since the, uh, last week. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going it, to... It's a Alaskan Malmute. It's bigger than a husky, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to work on him. All right. So he has a long way to go. I'll probably be working on him for like the next three weeks. I don't know. Yeah. I'll be working on him for a while, probably. Because today's Monday, and then I go to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I'll be back again Friday. Friday I'll have time to paint again, usually. Alright, I gotta go. I'll be back in a little while. Thanks for spending some time with me.